So we continue with adolescence uh, now. So I told you what was adolescence. Now we see about the physical changes during adolescence. Upon crossing the age of 10 or 11, there is a certain spurt in the growth which is quite noticeable. So you must have seen that when you all were just 8 or 9 years and now when you are almost at the age of 11, 12 and so, you must have seen a drastic change between your photographs around 3 years back and what if right now. There are some specific, you know, quite uh, distinct changes what you have seen in yourself or maybe you must be noticing now which is taking place in your body. So that's why they, you can see it's a noticeable changes which are going to take place where once you are about the age of 10 or 11. This change is taking, in the place, uh, taking place in our body under the influence of hormones are part of growing up. So uh, this particular change is what you see are basically due to the hormones which are going to be produced in our body. It will be these hormones which are going to be the growth hormones which are present in our body which are going to activate certain kind of growth in the body and hence give you a particular physical appearance, uh, overall appearance over, uh, and that is nothing but the hormonal changes which is taking place in your body at that time. The following physical changes occur during the adolescence. First, increase in height. The most visible and conspicuous, conspicuous change during the adolescence is sudden increase in height. During this period, the bones of the arms and legs elongate, the weight of the body also increases. Initially, girls grow faster than boys, but towards the end of their teenage, both reach their maximum height. The rate of growth in height varies in different individuals. So the normally the first thing what comes up in the uh, change which is going to take place in adolescence is your height. Okay, Girls you will find that girls are going to get their height quickly. They are going to become more taller in a short duration of a short uh, age group time. But for males at that time the boys we will not be having such increase immediately. But by the end of the teenage, at that time, the boys would have overshoot the girls quite easily and they would reach their maximum heights uh, by the age they are somewhere near 18. And not only that, the height will, the height what you are going to get will depend upon many factors, many genetic things also. So it is going to be different from person to person. So that's why the variation of the height will be depending on each and every individual. But normally it is this particular age group where the height is going to be increased. But it is not necessary that everyone's height is going to be the same time. If someone is late, then someone is early. So that's why if uh, by chance someone's height is presently low, then it is not necessary that it is going to remain that way only. There is a full possibility that by the time you are 18, the person shoots up, uh, the height shoots up and is going to reach much higher. I got many of my friends in self in my school itself who were much shorter to me when they were in the 10th standard but after uh, like when I met them after uh, 6 or 8 years uh, he was much taller than me whereas they were when he was small when he was in school but then he is now right now taller than me so yeah that is all possible so it is just a part and parcel that somebody grows later somebody goes earlier Second is change in the body shape. Boys generally have longer bones and more muscles as compared to girls. Boys have broader shoulder and narrow hips while girls have a curvious, curvaceous body and the broader hips due to the enlargement of the hip bones. So now we have seen that the boys and the girls they will have a different kind of a body structure. The muscle, the growth of the muscle and the growth of the bones, the long, the bones of the, will be longer in case of the boys, and plus the muscle growth will be much more in men. So in uh, the boys, the muscle growth will be much more, whereas it will be not that much of a muscle growth in case of girls. Boys may shoulders will be broader and the hip part will be uh, smaller. Whereas in girls, it will be a curvaceous body. It will be curvaceous, in a curvaceous body, and uh, normally the hip up, hip part will be broader so as to accommodate the baby in future. So that's why always the girls will have a broader hip hip girdle so that in future they are able to accommodate the baby in them. 
The third change what is seen is change in voice. Yeah, that must that is very very common. कितने सारे लड़कों का ऐसा होता है that the voice till the age of five and six is almost like a girl. You know, they are quite feminish kind of a sharp, shrill kind of sound. But now it has become coarse, thick, and also that is quite common. You must have experienced right away in many of your classmates that their voice have changed suddenly. So that is a very common thing. Change in voice, especially in the males, especially in the boys, is very common. the The sound becomes more coarse of for the males, whereas the female voice still remains shriller. During adolescence, the larynx or the voice box begins to grow. Boys develop larger voice box. This can be seen in boys as a protruding part of the throat, which has been called as the Adam's apple. So, this particular part over here, this is this over here is the Adam's apple, which is normally going to be a prominent thing seen in the boys, whereas the girls will not be seeing that thing. This is because of the enlargement of the larynx. The enlargement of the larynx produces a coarse sound, a thicker sound you can see. So that is the uh, Adam's apple. In girls, the voice box is small in size. Generally, girls have a high-pitched voice, whereas boys have a deep, hoarse voice. So, yeah, that is a, because of the smaller size of the larynx in females. That's why the female's voice is always going to be very sharp, very uh, shrill or high-pitched, whereas that of the males is going to be much coarse, uh, thicker and uh, yeah, it will be flat tone. You must have observed that some of your classmates develop a hoarse voice. This is due to the muscles of their voice. M muscles, uh, sorry, due to, the, uh, due to the muscles of their growing voice box that develop to the larger extent, changing their voice. So, yeah, that is what I told you that there is going to be a change in the voice of the people around you. The situation remains for a brief period, maybe for a few months after which the voice becomes normal. So, then there is a transition period when there is a thickness going to increase or the bustle going to increase. At that time it becomes uh, hoarse and then it becomes normal after some time. But of course it will be remaining that way that the male voice will always be uh, more flatter or uh, coarse whereas the uh, female voice will be much high pitch and shrill. The fourth is increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands. During adolescence, the secretion of sweat glands and sebaceous glands, oil gland secretion, increases. Many young people get acne and pimples on the face at this time because of the increased activity of these glands in the skin. So, yeah, must, you must have seen many of your friends getting some pimples over here. So, maybe it was slightly a younger age for you all to get pimples, but maybe in another, another two or three years of time, you'll be having your friends or you will also be having some pimples on your head or your acne on, uh, on your face. That particular thing is just the hormonal changes which are going to take place in your body. So that's why this is because the sebaceous glands and the sweat glands present in, on the skin, their activity increases. This causes the uh, problem of acne and pimples. So that's a quite a normal thing, uh, quite a part and parcel of your adolescence changes. So these were the four uh, changes, physical changes which were taking place in the adolescence. Now let's see what are the secondary changes or sexual changes or characteristics which are going to change during adolescence. Development of sexual and secondary sexual characteristics characters during adolescence. So sexual and secondary sexual. What do you mean by the secondary sexual and sexual? Sexual means the changes which are going to take place directly in your sex organs like the testes and the ovary. But the changes what is going to take place in your overall structure like increase in the uh, uh, chest part that is the breast or the moustaches and the beard coming up in your face. These are the secondary sexual changes. Okay, So that's why there will be both such kind of changes that are going to take place in the body during adolescence. During the adolescence period, the sex organs become active. The, te the testes start producing sperms and the ovaries start producing eggs. This indicates that the individual is becoming capable of producing children. This is a stage of puberty. Okay, 
This is the puberty is a stage wherein the person's sex organs have become active and that particular child is no longer a child but he is capable of giving birth to a child. So that's why it is a very big responsible kind of a age group wherein you are changing from being a childhood from childhood to adulthood so that is that adolescence period which is going to bring in the change in your sexual characteristics producing so in case of males there will be the start of the production of the sperms from your testes and in case of females the start of the uh, egg maturation in from the ovaries ovaries producing eggs Puberty is the period during which the reproductive system of the boys and girls mature. In girls, it starts at the age of about 12 and the first sign of puberty is the development of breasts. In boys, it starts at, a age, at about 13 years of age and the enlargement of the testes is its first sign. Okay? So, that's it. The boys and girls both are going to have this particular maturity the maturity coming up, the sexual maturity coming up and that will be significantly seen when in case of females, in case of girls, there will be increase or the enlargement of the breast over here and in case of the males, the testes uh, which are there, these testes uh, are the uh, going to increase in size. So the swelling or the increase in the enlargement of the testes is going to be seen in case of males and the enlargement of the breast is seen in the case of females. Puberty is brought on by sex hormones which starts getting produced by the testes and the ovaries. The male sex hormone are called as androgens. The main one is called the testosterone and the female one is called as estrogen. These hormones are activated by follicle stimulating hormone FSH produced by the pituitary gland. So, the sex changes or you can say the sex hormones which are there, the puberty is going to be brought about into the body by the sex hormones. Now, the sex hormones are going to be produced by the testes and the ovaries. And it will be the FSH, what we studied in the pituitary gland, that FSH, that is the follicle stimulating hormone present, which will be given out by the pituitary gland will be the one which is going to trigger the production of the uh, testosterone that is the male kind of a hormone or we can say sexual hormone in case of males that is testosterone the endogen which is going to be produced uh, androgen which is the male sex hormone and in case of female the estrogen which is going to be produced uh, by the uh, female ovary. So this way the testosterone in males and the estrogen in females are going to be produced by the action of the follicle stimulating hormone produced by the pituitary gland of the body. The sex hormones bring about other changes as well. So of course the sex organs, it is not only the sex organs which are going to change, only the increase in the breast and the uh, ovaries and all, no, that's not the only thing what is going to happen in your body. For example, in boys, the voice breaks and hair starts growing on the chest, legs and face. So that's why the beard starts growing, the moustache starts coming up, there will be hair on the uh, arms, the, there will be hair on the chest, legs. So all those growth of the hair in different places is going to be a part and parcel of the uh, sex hormones change, hormonal bringing the change in the body. A boy who has been through puberty soon finds himself having to shave. In girls, breast starts developing and fat is laid down in the thighs giving the characteristic curves of the female body. So you can see that as the boy starts maturing or as he starts getting the uh, age what is puberty and then he will start having the beard and the moustache and also that he will need to shave and uh, do the shaving part and all whereas the females they will be having the 
Uh, you know the fleshy parts coming up at the uh, or the uh, at the thighs, so thighs become more fleshier. So the curves, the curvatures of the body are seen more prominently when the female goes under puberty. So the fat is laid in the thighs, giving the curvature to the female body. The various changes which have just been described which constitutes the person's secondary sexual characteristics. At this stage, boys and girls become both become more interested in opposite sex. So, this is the period when the attraction for a boy to the girl and the girl to the boy is going to increase, uh, and there will be a kind of a difference between a boy and a girl. So, the table given below shows the important physical changes in boys and girls that take place during puberty. First one. Boys enlargement of testes, girls ovary ovaries mature, the release of egg studs. Boys penis and scrotal sac grows, and girls uterus and vaginal grow in size. Menstruation cycle starts. <coughs> Boys sudden spurt in the growth, shoulder girdle grow more than the hip girdle. So the shoulder girdle grow more than the hip girdle. Girls may sudden spur in growth at the short time. Hip girdle becomes rough shaped and the bigger than the shoulder girdle and breast grows. Boys may beard, moustache, pubic and uh, chest hair grows whereas girls no hair on chest or abdomen. Boys, boys become deep and hoarse, low pitch voice whereas girls high pitch voice. So these are the changes which we already studied earlier in the in this part. So these are the changes which are going to take place during the adolescence. The changes that occur at puberty are perfectly normal but adolescents who are worried about them should ask for help from their parents or a counsellor or school. The changes in the hormones sometimes cause depression and emotional swings during adolescence. So this is the period where your hormonal changes are taking place. Now, hormonal changes, I told you, hormones are the chemical balance of our body. Now any changes in the chemical balance of our body is going to change you drastically. There is going to be a drastic change in you. There is definitely going to be a not so normal kind of a conditions of yours when you are going through this particular phase of adolescence. In such a condition, there is a possibility that you may have be feel, you may be feeling some kind of a, uh, you can say depression or some kind of a anxiety problem or some kind of a inferiority or a complex which is there which could be hindering you okay which could be harming you so in such cases it is better that you speak to somebody openly and discuss your problems rather than just keeping them with you and creating problem because maybe it is not actively any problem at all it is just a adolescent problem which is common to almost each and every person or each and every adult has to go through so just because something is there in your mind and you are not able to concentrate on certain better things and you are creating problems for yourself it is better that you don't do such a thing but it is better that you concentrate by just talking to somebody about these problems and taking help of your adults and the help of your counselors or teachers or maybe the uh, parents or of course the parents also and uh, talking out about it rather than just keeping it in your mind and suffering. Now let's see uh, what exactly could be a problem when the adolescent period is going through. When you are going through the adolescent period, what is the different problems what you are going to face? So let's see. Adolescence and the related physiological, psychological uh, changes. So there are some psychological changes which are going to take place during this particular change. And it's very, very critical. You know, these are the age, these is that particular age wherein you focus properly on the right thing and you are going to make your life more beautiful and if you do not focus on the right things at that time you are going to repent throughout your life that why you changed for some petty things at that age so adolescence is a very critical period during this period boys and girls 
not only experience the spurt of physical growth but also rapid emotional and psychological changes so the person is going through a lot of a tumor you know, it's completely like a, a storm in your brain you know, because physical change ho raha hai sexual changes ho raha hai there is a mental development taking place maturity badh rahi hai but still you are not adult enough you are not responsible enough and then there is this rapid emotional changes coming up and finally uh, you have also the psychological problems coming up so these are a very critical area this is a very critical age which you are going through so some of the stages are highlighted below boys and girls become too conscious and start worrying about the growth in various parts of their body they start feeling shy and feel hesitant in sharing the problems with others most of the time they they go on finding faults with themselves and develop a complex also they spend a lot of time in grooming see this is age wherein you start to compare your body with somebody else either you feel proud about your body or you try to maintain it much more you spend more time in front of the mirror okay this is going to be the age you are you are still not reach that age so you you must be seeing if if you have got an elder sister who is at least uh, just 15 or 16 years of age you will find that half of the time that sister is just you know trying to uh, be in front of a mirror and trying it how hell i hair style like this or this way and that way so you are trying to groom yourself you try you are always trying to groom yourself and you spend a lot of time grooming yourself and also at the same time you start looking for faults in your body oh my height is not that much i have not got this thing wo aadmi ko to bara pas par proper mustache aa gaya mujhe aata hi nahi hai my beard is not coming i don't see any kind of hair coming up on there so all these kinds of comparisons all these kinds of uh, you know the complexes are going to be generated in your body during this particular age but it is very normal it's only that somebody gets it at a particular age and somebody gets it at a later age and frankly telling you if you feel that getting a beard and a mustache is very good no it's a painful thing shaving every time so that's why itna khush bhi hone ka zarurat nahi hai ki ha mujhe mustache aa gaya okay so they become worried about their future although in a juvenile stage to think about the future since they are they have no set goals they start fearing which develop a stage of depression in them so this is the age wherein you are trying to see that okay you want to what do you want to become but at the same time you do not have the maturity to actually think that what you want to become so that gives you a kind of a confusion that okay whether you want to do this thing or whether you want to do this thing whether you are in the right direction or whether you are not in the right direction and that sometimes if you are not able to figure out that what exactly you want to do you start fearing and you also get depression so that's why this is a particular thing which is definitely going to happen to each and every body so don't bother about it scientifically the cause of depression is the dramatic increase in the hormone level in the body the hormones affect the brain that control the emotions and moods normally it is temporary phase that goes away as one grows up so it's a normal thing it is a hormonal change wo hormonal change ke karan depression aa raha it is not the depression that you don't know what are you going to do in life okay there is nothing like that you are definitely going to do good in life so that is not a problem at all but the point is that at that time you start worrying too much you become too much stressful okay and that is because of the hormonal changes it is not because of anything that you are scared about something it is just that it is a hormonal change and their hormonal changes are bringing the depression and that's why you just have to be calm and composed during that time and it's just a temporary phase it will just pass off girls and boys like to remain with their groups of friends also called as peers most of the time since they feel safe in group they also try to imitate what others do in their peer group now this is very very important 
normally it is a time where you avoid to be with your parents ah now i am going i am not going to come with you to your uncles or please and aunties please and like that i am going to be here i am going to stay at home these are the kind of things which is going to happen so at this age it is very common that you would like to be with your own age group people because everybody is sharing a similar kind of a uh, you know the tremor or whatever is the conditions which is there is a similar kind so you would like to be with them so that you can share these things more easily and uh, you feel safer with those because you know that okay they all are also having the same kind of problem what you are having and uh, that's why you and also you try to imitate some of the peers so if you feel that somebody is much smarter than you or you feel that he is more uh, better than you you will try to imitate him and that is nothing but because of the peer pressure so if somebody feels that okay uske paas bahut paisa hai to usne ye liya wo liya ye kharida wo kharida you are forcing your parents to do the same thing which is the wrong deed because you need not imitate that person just because you feel that it is very good that imitation is not required you are your own individual you are yourself you create your own identity rather than trying to imitate somebody else so that is very important that be yourself okay don't try to imitate anybody be yourself this is a crucial age as adolescence brings with it emotional and psychological changes in the eagerness of to be like their peers boys and girls may get into the wrong company develop habits like smoking drinking or even become addicted to certain drugs this may cause harm to them in long run now this is the most dangerous thing imitation to a certain extent is still okay okay trying to wear certain kind of clothes what the other is trying to is is other going to wear fine till that time is very fine but the moment you are trying to imitate somebody because you feel it is very stylish to smoke in front of everybody or you feel is it to be like guts to take some drink over there or if you feel that taking them drugs over there is very cool and very very uh, you know happening so in that case please 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 see to it that you are not falling a prey to this particular kind of things okay it is very important to know that what is right for you and what is wrong for you okay it is very very important to know that the smoking cigarette is the style jo hai wo style is a harmful thing for your body it is going to create a big kind of a nuisance for your body so it is not advisable to do it in any form similarly drinking okay all these are those particular kind of habits which are not good for your health neither it is good for your body and nor it is for good for your growth so definitely it is not advisable to imitate anybody or for in this particular manner that you are imitating the wrong things or you are trying to get attracted to the wrong things in life around you so it's very that's why it is very very important to be more uh self controlled over there so that you are not in a not getting into the influence of these kinds of things so that's so very important one so that's it adulthood the stage that follows adolescence is adulthood an individual attains full physical growth and a great amount of emotional stability by this time the values learned during childhood and adolescence are grounded and a strong vision for the future dominates so adulthood is the age which is after adolescence so if you had taken good values in the childhood and adolescence your adulthood becomes strong and firm okay but if you taken the bad values in the adolescence period your adulthood will become much worse than that so jo style ke liye chalu kiya tha wo addiction ban jayega जो फन के लिए चालू किया था वो न्यूसेंस बन जाएगा सो दैट्स व्हाई दैट चेंज व्हाट इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम एडोलसेंस टू एडल्टुड द एडल्टुड वुड बी गुड इफ द एडोलसेंस इज क्वाइट नॉर्मल एंड इट इज नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय बैड हैबिट्स सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज गिवन ओवर द इंडिविजुअल अटेंस फुल ग्रोथ एंड ग्रेट अमाउंट ऑफ इमोशनल स्टेबिलिटी इन द एडल्टुड by this time the various the values learned during childhood and adolescence are grounded it has become firm now it has become your characteristics the 
चाइल्डहुड एंड एडोसेंस में जो भी तुम लोग ने जो किया वो पर्टिकुलर देख योर रीडिंग हैबिट्स योर स्टडी हैबिट्स योर हैबिट्स टू रिस्पेक्ट द अदर्स योर हैबिट्स टू डू योर वर्क द हैबिट टू कंप्लीट योर वर्क इन टाइम टू बी टाइम टू बी ऑन टाइम यू नो द टाइम कॉन्शियस अबाउट द पंक्चुअलिटी ऑफ योरसेल्फ ऑल दीस हैबिट्स आर गोइंग टू बी ग्राउंडेड दे आर गोइंग टू बिकम योर फर्म बेस फॉर डेवलपिंग अ गुड एडल्ट ह्यूमन बीइंग so by this time the values learned during childhood and adolescence get grounded and the strong vision for the future dominates yeah, yeah. stable relationship intellectual and career pursuits and soldering responsibilities take priority so then what happens is the yeah, stable real relationship that what is that means you are going to take care of the relationships around you the father mother and your uh, the your friends and everybody and uh, the career pursuits you will be starting thinking about that what is your career options you want to go for so career options so career pursuits and soldering the responsibility you will feel more responsible during the adulthood so these are the areas means this is the way the you are going to go from a childhood to adolescence and from adolescence to adulthood so this is about adulthood now we go through the next part that is importance of personal hygiene in the next video